Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and in this video I want to talk about the create update um, data web service. In the last video I showed you um, whoops, how to um, yeah, create a create data web service and the create data web service um, always creates a new entry every time you execute it. Okay, so what you can do now is um, you can go to your parameters and change the create action to create update with an uppercase U. Then you go to the input fields and here you add um, another column which you use to identify entries in the database. So in my case, um, yeah, I had the name field as the input field so I can create a new user. And now I added the column AD user ID, which is the key column of AD user and uh, I check the identifier checkbox right here. I um, check the allow null value because when I want to create a new user, I can simply um, uh, yeah, execute the SOAP request without an AD user ID. And if I have already this user, I can use the AD user ID to update this user. So that's, this, that's all you need to change to get your create update um, web service um, up and running. And here's another little um, tricky part. Um, this is what um, my soap request from the last video looks like. And um, yeah, you can see you now um, I create new users every time I run it. Now, if I um, copy this field right here, paste it, um, alter the column name, uh, user ID and put a 1 million and 10 in here and change the name for example and I execute this you see I get a new user and the reason this happens is that I'm still running a create data web service but I have to use the create update data web service <coughs> So if the, I run this again, you see, um, I still get the standard response with the record ID, but since I provided a record ID here, um, yeah, it simply returns this one. So if I remove this field here again and run it, you see, I get new users. If I put it back in here and run it, it updates the user with this ID. And to show you that it really works, I will select my users and here you see it updated it. So if I change the name again and run this, I can run the query again. And whoops, of course I have to put hello world in here so I can find my user and there it is. So yeah, that's basically how you can use the um, create update web service. Yeah, all you have to do is to specify an identifier and um, allow null values, because if you don't allow null values, I can show you what happens if I put this in here. And if I remove the field now, it should throw me an error, which it doesn't, okay. Mm, this is strange. Maybe it's um, when I do this. Ah, okay. Now it throws me an arrow. But yeah, um, I think you get um, the idea of how to use it. And yeah, it's um, yeah really really um, similar to the normal create data, except that you um, use the create update data tag here and change the um, action to create update. So I hope this video helps you. If yes, then um, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you think I missed something or something is wrong or you have questions, then feel free to use the comment section below. And I see you in the next video.